everybody, it's Angie from the Graceland Archives team. Welcome to Memphis and welcome to Graceland. It's a beautiful day here in Memphis and we know that you guys wish you were here but you're social distancing and staying at home. But this is your chance to ask me some questions. We've been filming a lot of behind the scenes content that we've gone live with on our Facebook and Instagram pages at Visit Graceland. So, uh, but this is your time. So start firing those questions away and Welcome to Graceland. How about if we hop on inside? You know, probably one of my favorite things about coming to Graceland is actually walking through the front door because that is the same door that when Elvis first saw Graceland in 1957 that he came home to. It also is the same door that he brought Lisa home from the hospital in. So it really is like being welcomed into his home and kind of into his world. Um, so again, if you guys have any questions, um, please feel free to start sharing them in the comments and we will start at answering them. All right, we do have a question from Images by Douglas. What is the one artifact that you love the most, the one that gives you the biggest smile? Hi, Images by Douglas. Um, the one artifact that I love the most is probably something personal. I mean, I have my favorite jumpsuits and I have my favorite car, um, but the one item that I kind of gravitate to is Elvis's wallet. Um, it's on display here at Graceland in the Trophy Building, and it is just so personal. It really gives you that one-on-one -on -one connection. Um, he has like a movie ticket stub in there, and he has a newspaper clipping in there, and his insurance card. So it really is kind of a catch-all, just like my wallet is, or like your wallet is. So that's probably the one thing that it gives me that personal connection that I really kind of gravitate to. And um, do we have any questions? Yes, we do. Jay Cherrybaum wants to know, Angie, how did you get your job at Graceland and what do you enjoy the most about working here? Oh my gosh, I actually started working here in um, 1989. Um, I was 17 at the time, a tour guide. It was a summer job and I kind of like to say the summer never ended. And probably one of my favorite things that I can do here at Graceland is take off my shoes and actually go inside some of the rooms. So. Look, we're stepping behind the ropes. Not many people get to do this. Um, we've done this on our Gates of Graceland series on our YouTube page, so you've probably been able to see some of those. But come on into the room and look really closely at some of the things that are here. Um, what's really great about Graceland is that all of these things are original. So uh, we have Hari underscore MCM. And wants to know whose idea was it to save everything, including the entire sets of furniture? That's a good question. Um, Elvis, his dad, actually was the one that was considered the pack rat. He saved everything. Elvis loved to redecorate, and of course we know he loved to give things away. So his dad would often save things because you never knew when Elvis would want that lamp back or the sofa back. So Vernon was the one that really kept everything. And in our collection, our largest part of our collection are documents, and we have over 1.5 million of them. Let's go take a look at the uh, piano. I know that's a special artifact. Yes. Um, here in the music room, this is probably one of my favorite rooms in the house. And it's simply because this is where Elvis could unwind and relax. And the piano is probably one of my favorite stories because this is the very first piano that Elvis bought for Graceland in 1957. And as you can imagine how excited Elvis was not only to have a new home, but to have a home that featured a piano that used to be at the Auditorium North Hall. It meant a lot to him. And when we were able to acquire it back and bring it back here to Graceland and actually decorate the room as it was in the mid 60s was really kind of a high point. Um, bringing it back here to Graceland. So yeah, that's this is really a really cool room. So we have a question all the way from Rome from um, somebody named uh, Isabella Marchese. <laughs> Hi Isabella, what's your question? <laughs> she would like to know what is your favorite room? I know you mentioned this is one of them. What yeah, else? this is one of them. My other favorite room, we'll probably get a peek later, but it's the jungle room. It's just so cool. It's like a man cave versus Hawaii. It's one of my favorite rooms. So yeah, kind of down in the jungle room. So um, actually, let's start headed back this way so we can see a little bit more. You know, this is also something that you guys get a really closer look. I mean, this is something that no one really gets to see from the tour path. And again, what's really cool is all of this stuff is original and it's all on the original receipts for decorating Graceland back in 1957. 
Okay, we have another question from Mrs. Grimmett. How does it feel to be in his house? Oh, it feels, oh gosh, how do you describe it? It feels like home because I've been here so long. It's very warm and welcoming. And I think my favorite part about Graceland is that you can imagine Elvis sitting on the sofa with his feet kicked up on the coffee table, playing a guitar and really um, welcoming his guest. So it really is homey. It's not like you're afraid that you're gonna break something or anything like that. So it feels like you're home. It feels like you're welcomed. Yeah, you know, it's funny thing is that when Elvis would entertain and sometimes welcome guests, he would take a uh, do karate demonstrations and would actually run from the music room we were just at through here to the foyer to actually break boards. Um, so again, Elvis used the home as it was his playground as well. So the sofa you see was also original to the house from 1957. Okay, so we are getting a questions as I imagine we would about the upstairs. Jebba Scott, can we see upstairs? Dayton Corn, are you allowed to go upstairs? And then we also had a question, does it look the same as it looked um, back when Elvis was here? So the one thing about Graceland and kind of its mystique is the upstairs and the fact that that was kind of Elvis's private area. So um, no one is allowed to go upstairs and well, because we're on Instagram Live, um, no, we're still not allowed to go upstairs, sorry. Um, it looks as if he just got up and left. It is part of my job to maintain it, so we do go up there to maintain the space, um, but the record on the record player is the last record he listened to. The, there's a styrofoam cup that sits on the bookshelf. Um, the bed is made, so yeah, we really maintain it the way that Lisa wants us to preserve it. So. Unfortunately, we can't see it, but it is taken care of. Um, well, we'll go off script a little bit. We weren't planning to do this, but M. Nazara said, can you show us Ann Delta's room? I wish I could show you Ann Delta's room. Um, the one that's on tour is actually Gladys's bedroom. She used that at night. Um, Ann Delta's room is actually off of the kitchen, and it currently is not used, for, not viewable. So, um, but we can take a peek into Gladys's room if you want to come down the hallway. So this room would have been Graceland's master bedroom when Elvis buys the house. So, and the really cool thing about this room is that Gladys actually decorated it in her favorite color of purple. And if you look in the bathroom, this would probably be a really good chance to come inside and get a quick view of the poodle wallpaper that Gladys helped design. This is one of my favorite things about this room is the wallpaper because I know that Gladys' mom, Elvis' mom Gladys helped design it. So it's kind of really cool. And again, it's in the very 50s colors of purple, which was her favorite. So this is what Aunt Delta would use when we were open for tours. Um, this was her main living quarters. Uh, first it was Gladys and Vernon's room, then it was Minnie Mae's, and then Aunt Delta's. And we opened it up for tours in um, 1994. It was on Mother's Day that we opened it up, right after Delta's passing in 93. So let's head back to the dining room. Perfect, we have questions for the dining room. <laughs> the dining room at Graceland is always, always a place where people gather. So let's head over here and maybe I'll look at a couple of cabinets if you guys want to see what's behind some of this stuff. Um, question for the dining room? Yes, you actually do want to see what's inside <laughs> the cabinets, if you will, and also point out where Elvis sat at this beautiful table. Okay, we'll point out where Elvis sat first. Um, Elvis sat here. And because we are on Instagram Live, we can actually come back here and give you guys a view of what Elvis was looking at when he was sitting here at the table. What Graceland looked like from Elvis's seat. Now Elvis sat at the head of the table because it did give him one of the best views of the TV that's over in the corner to the right. But this is Elvis's view of Graceland from the head of the table. And also, uh, I hear there is a button underneath. Yes, and also here, there is a button underneath the table. It's actually here at this opposite end, and it would ring the kitchen, so if they needed more food, they could push the button, and then the food would come out from the kitchen. But let me take a look inside. Uh, of course, we have silver, and you can see the silver on tour. This cabinet here, however, is kind of a secret, and it's where we have a lot of fun things, including Elvis and Priscilla's Christmas china, so if you have a chance to tour Graceland during Christmas time, you'll probably recognize the china because we actually put it on the table. 
at Christmas. So, so it's true. Teresa at ATX is asking, how are you keeping everything so clean without damaging the items? So Teresa, we work really hard to maintain a high level of preservation um, when we deal with pieces. We do a lot of research on how to take care of different fabrics and materials. Um, most recently, we had a cleaning friends here at Graceland, and as you can see, we polished all the silver. We take care of it just like you would take care of your silver at home. Um, we gently vacuum fabrics um, to make sure that we keep those clean. And yeah, so we just, we do a lot of work behind the scenes to preserve the items as they are. All right, Johnny Ace 156 asks, what is the usual time that Elvis would come downstairs? Okay, right, Johnny, Elvis used to come down at stairs um, normally around nine or 10 o'clock at night um, because Elvis wouldn't go to bed till nine o'clock in the morning. So Elvis very much was on a flip schedule than what we would be on. So Elvis would come down 9, 9.30, dinner was served between 10 and 10.30, and then they would be out the front door and off to the movies or shopping or something like that, depending on what was going on that evening, what the plans were. So he was very much a night owl, and he would come back to Graceland and would go back upstairs and go to bed around 9 a.m. So it gives you kind of an idea of if you wanted to catch Elvis out and about, it was after 9 p.m. and before 9 a.m. in the morning. Um, Christina Anker wants to know, is the plane still here? Yes, Christina. I don't know if you can see it. No, it's actually behind me. You, you can barely see it, but the plane is still here. Um, it's been here since 1982, and it's still here and part of the Elvis Experience Tour. Uh, matter of fact, we might be doing a behind the scenes on the airplane pretty soon on our, one of our pages, so stay tuned. But yes, it's still here. Both of them are. Okay, should we go take yeah, a look at Yeah, let's go take a look at the kitchen. So, like any good southern home, the kitchen was the heart of the house and it still is today. Very homey as you can see. A trivia question, if anyone is interested, the pattern of the carpet, it's actually goes to 1974. So yes, Elvis's kitchen had carpet, <laughs> which I know is quite unusual, but Elvis, Elvis was a very unusual person sometimes. All right, can we take a look uh, into the spice cabinet? I find this fascinating that we still have that we still have stuff. Yes. Okay, um, come on in. One of the really cool things, again, like I mentioned, is that everything here is original. Now, for preservation's sake, the spices are no longer in the containers, but these are the original spice containers that we found here in the kitchen when we opened it up for tours in 1994. So I think it's kind of cool. You got Kroger brand stuff, black pepper, parsley, allspice, cinnamon. Yeah, so it's really kind of neat how we're able to preserve everything and keep it original. Can you uh, give us a couple of Elvis's favorite meals that he would love to see come out of this kitchen? The good thing about Graceland is that the kitchen really was kind of like a short order restaurant. Elvis loved food he grew up on. Southern food like fried chicken, mashed potatoes, fried okra, meatloaf, um, collard greens peanut butter banana sandwiches made in this skillet right here on the, t on the oven. Um, so he liked good Southern food. That's what he grew up on. Okay. Um, we have a question from Little Elvis 87 who asks, why aren't all of Elvis's award, uh, awards up on the wall? Um, Elvis didn't really display his achievements here in the mansion. Um, when he first moved in, he did display his gold records in the TV room. Then he moved them to the trophy building. And when we opened up our new visitors complex, Elvis Presley's Memphis back in 2017, we moved those awards over to the Elvis the Entertainer exhibition. So um, they're still on display. They're part of our Elvis Presley's Memphis complex in the entertainer exhibit. Uh, but he really didn't have them on the walls here because he wanted people to feel comfortable when they were here at Graceland and not be overwhelmed with, oh yes, here's my 200 gold records and stuff like that. So that's why they're not on display in the house. All right, Bashuda1977 asks, does anyone get to play the instruments in the house or are they just museum pieces now? We actually preserve them as instruments. So the piano actually gets tuned and cleaned twice a year. The people that actually tune and clean our pianos 
is the same person, his dad actually sold Elvis the piano. So it's kind of still in the family. All the guitars on display, they get cleaned and they get played um, once a year. And then we always down tune them so there's no stress on the necks of the guitars and things like that. But we do preserve them as instruments because they are living and breathing things that create music. So that's part of our preservation of the items. G. Cassenti asks, which is Elvis's favorite room in the house? Oh gosh, Elvis's favorite room in the house. It's kind of, I guess it would kind of depend on what a mood he was in. Um, the music room would be one of them, but I also think he really liked the jungle room because <laughs> this is where he would have breakfast sometimes. Um, and he also would watch football in here, um, including watching football downstairs as well. But this room was really a place where he could relax. Um, uh, we're actually walking out onto the stairs here where Elvis actually recorded his last album, Moody Blue, it was recorded right here in the Jungle Room. And can you talk about the stairs right behind you, where those lead? <laughs> these stairs, um, you would think they lead upstairs, but they do not. Um, these stairs actually lead to the roof of the Jungle Room where there is a sun deck. Originally, when this room was added onto the mansion, it was supposed to be two stories, and upstairs was going to be a conference room. Unfortunately, it never was finished, so it just leads to a deck that you can see from the back of the house. Okay, does we have a question from O'Brien Shannon 17. Does the family still visit Graceland? Yes, O'Brien Shannon, hi. The family does still visit Graceland quite often, and one of Lisa's favorite things to do here is to actually share with her kids and her friends her memories of Graceland and do things that Elvis and her used to do, like ride golf carts or see the horses and things like that. But they do come quite often. This is still her home. Okay. Um, let's talk about some of this incredible some of this, furniture. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so here in the jungle room, um, you can see that not only is the furniture unique, but it actually does remind Elvis of Hawaii. That was the reason why he bought it. The story goes is that Elvis's dad saw it first and complained about the most awful furniture he had ever seen. And of course, so Elvis goes shopping that night and buys the entire set and has it delivered to Graceland the next day. Um, but Elvis did love it because it kind of does remind you of Hawaii. It's all hand carved white pine wood, except for the tables, um, the end tables, those are black cypress. There is a bar here for entertaining purposes. Unfortunately, there's nothing behind the bar right now. Uh, but yeah, so this room is really relaxed and probably one of the most unique things about the room is if you look up There's carpeting on the ceiling. That was a decorators trend in the 70s And it really made this room great for recording and that was the reason Elvis chose this room to record two albums Can you talk a little bit more about those who was who was here with him recording those and what the albums were? Some so, of the singles they might recognize from it so some of the records that Elvis recorded in here was from Elvis Presley Boulevard in Memphis, Tennessee, and also six songs from his last album, Moody Blue. When the recording sessions would happen, RCA parked their vans behind the windows where all the equipment inside. And in here, there was, you know, James Burton and Ronnie Tutt and Glenn V. They were all here, um, here in the jungle room, ready. The singers were here, um, and the recording sessions started around 2 a.m. And so Elvis would come down. Sometimes they were interrupted when Elvis decided to clean out his closet and give everyone clothes from his closet. Um, but yeah, so recording sessions started around two. Some of the songs that were recorded in here were Hurt, um, one of my favorites, Way Down, and the song actually Moody Blue was recorded in this room. Okay. We had a question uh, back through the kitchen. Did Elvis ever cook for himself? Elvis actually showed um, one of the cooks how to make peanut butter and banana sandwiches once here in the kitchen. Um, but besides that, he really didn't cook for himself. He normally had somebody that was cooking for him. Uh, Priscilla famously made lasagna here at Graceland for him a couple of times, so she would cook in the kitchen every now and then. Um, but yeah, I think one of my favorite stories is when I heard that Elvis had come down to make himself a peanut butter and banana sandwich and showed the maids how he liked them. Okay. So, um, so other things that you might notice here in the jungle room is that print on the wall. Um, Elvis's karate nickname was Tiger, and it's kind of hard to see from the tour path, but there's a tiger print on the wall there. So Elvis had two eighth degree black belts in karate, one in Kempo and one in Taekwondo, and he was given the nickname Tiger. So you might notice some tigers around Graceland. 
Um, you also might notice some monkey statues. Elvis did have a pet chimpanzee named Scatter. There was also several spider monkeys here on property. Um, there were birds, peacocks. Elvis had peacocks on property until they started pecking the paint off the gold Cadillac. There was a turkey whose nickname was Bowtie. There were donkeys and horses. There were Great Danes and Collies and just lots of different dogs. There's a Pomeranian named Edmund, who the only person Edmund liked was Aunt Delta. So Elvis gave it to Delta and Edmund lived here for years after we opened up for tours. Now, probably one of my favorite things here in the room, which you can see a little close-up video of, was one of the first ones we did, and that's the St. Francis of Assisi that's over by the waterfall, because St. Francis is the patron saint of animals. And so that's kind of ties in Elvis's love for animals, as well as a little hidden artifact that you can find here on the slide. So, um, how many things, so yeah, any questions, any comments, anything you guys want to know about, you know? Most people like to know how do we come up with our different ideas for exhibits and stuff. So um, that, that tells a story to actually coming up with a story and then figuring out what artifacts we have that help tell that story. Um, we're constantly changing exhibitions and keeping things fresh. But that's the great thing about the mansion itself is that no matter what exhibits we're doing, every time you walk through the front door at Graceland, you're walking through Elvis's home and it doesn't really change. You know, it's the same place that Elvis greeted friends. Um, the time that we do change it is at Christmas. Have you ever had a chance to be here at Christmas? We use Elvis's original decorations and we decorate Graceland for Christmas, which is an amazing sight, including changing drapes from blue to red. Um, so that's a lot of fun. But yeah, I mean, that's the really unique thing about Graceland is that it really is kind of a time capsule. So similar to that question, Night Dreamer Girl asks, Will the downstairs be like in 1977 again one day, all red with those carpets on the doors? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, not anytime soon. Um, in 74, there was a period when Ellis and Linda redecorated the front of the house, and it was red carpet. There were red carpet squares on the doors. There was red velvet furniture, um, mermaid, la or mermaid tables and lamps. It was very um, cl eclectic. And we do have all that furniture in the collection because they did save it all. And we do have pieces of it on display in the trophy building where we kind of show different phases of Graceland. Um, but so we're never, we don't have plans to actually put it on display back in the house, but you do get a chance to see some of it in the trophy building. Okay, we have SJ Sawyer 51 asks, what happened to Elvis's teddy bears? We have several teddy bears, but he used to donate them um, to children's hospitals and different charities. So we do have a few in the collection, but majority of those got donated because Elvis, he loved the fans and loved the gifts, but he also loved giving. So he did give a lot of those away. Any other questions? Any other questions coming through? As somebody who asked where the stairs in the kitchen Oh, the stairs in the kitchen. Now, those are really unique because those actually go back upstairs to the oh. uh, main staircase. We have one question before we leave here. Images by Douglas wants to know, do you run this waterfall every day? Uh, we have been running the waterfall every day. It actually had sprung a leak recently, and so we've had it resealed. Um, but, yeah, it still works, and it does run. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, when Elvis was alive, he never got it to work properly, and he put a big screen TV in front of it because it used to flood the room out all the time. But the waterfall does work. Um, it just currently is not on. <laughs> so, yeah, these stairs here, that was a question I came through earlier. These stairs actually lead upstairs to the main landing, which would take you to Elvis's bedroom. And this is how Elvis would come down to the kitchen. He would come down these stairs, and he would come and make himself at home here in the kitchen. You know something else that's really cool is here in this cabinet. You know, on the table you see Elvis and Priscilla's wedding china. In this cabinet, we have some of the Franciscan china. It's apple blossoms, which is kind of really cool. So this would be more everyday china versus the more classic wedding china that you'll see on the table. So you get a close look at things here in the cabinet. Hi, I love. What is the last record Elvis played that was still on his record player? 
It actually is an acetate from J.D. Sumner and the Stamps. It was a, a recording that they had just done in the studio that they sent to Elvis. Um, I've never actually played it, so I don't know the song that's on it. The label on it just has the recording date and it says the stamps. All right, we have a question from Lisa Marie Berthel. Do the kitchen appliances still work? Hi, Lisa Marie. Yes, the kitchen appliances do work. Um, they're turned off for, you know, fire safety, but they do still work. And when Lisa and her family are here, we fire them up and sometimes they'll have dinner here in the mansion. So yeah, they still work. It's oh, a great question. Um, and one of my favorite appliances here in the kitchen is actually these things here. You probably have never noticed them before because you walk in front of them, but these are actually bread warmers. So. Not only do we have the very first microwave sold in Memphis here in the kitchen, but we also have bread warmers here. A couple of people wanted to know if there's anything in the refrigerator. <laughs> no, the refrigerator is empty. Um, we can take a quick peek if you want to take a peek in it, but it's empty. <laughs> I'll close this ice cabinet. But yeah, very 1970s, but it's really cool. It even has an ice machine here. So, is there any other questions or comments that you guys have? You know, we really have enjoyed the, um, your guys' um, input, and if you guys have any more questions or comments, please feel free to um, email them to us or like our Facebook post, and we'll make sure that we get the answers to you guys right away. And we hope that you guys will be here at Graceland really soon visiting us again. Stay safe, stay healthy, and make sure to follow us on um, at Visit Graceland um, on Facebook and on Instagram for more behind the scenes content. And we hope to see you guys really soon. Um, bye from Memphis.